Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Patty, with another cooking, baking, recipe video, whatever you'd like to call it. And in today's video, we will be making homemade sorrel cake. Yeah, my triathing may I make sorrel cake. So right now, all you're seeing that I'm doing is putting some frozen sorrel florets in my blender to chop that up so we can get it going i'm now adding some red label wine mixed with rum because you know using a blender it will need some liquid So to do this, your sorrel does not have to be frozen, but I had bought mine a while ago. You don't want it to spoil. So mine was in the freezer, but if you have it fresh, you can just wash them clean and do it right away. It does not have to be frozen. Now we are moving over to the stove with the blended sorrel. We are going to be cooking that for about 10 minutes. So I had my pot preheating and I'm just scraping out what's in the blender into the pot. As you can see it was a little bit too hot so I turned the heat down from medium to low. And to this I will be adding my raisin which is already blended because I don't like the raisin chunks in my cake and my kids don't like it either so I blend the raisin I'll be adding that to it I'll also be adding my sugar um, and the rest of ingredients I don't remember them offhand now <laughs> but you'll see it as we go along Yes, yeah, so I'll be adding my spices right here now. I'm adding my nutmeg, then I'll be adding some salt, and I'll also be adding some cinnamon to that, as well as my ginger and my lime juice. And you guys know me already not now we yes, not now that's way so the rest of the rum that I'll be adding the rest of the wine that I'll be adding to this I'll just use it to rinse out the blender and then throw it in the pot Moving on to the next phase of the cake, I'll be using two sticks of butter and it looks like this because I just place it in the bowl and put it in the oven to warm so that the butter can melt so that is why it looks like this. 
um, we'll be creaming the butter sugar and egg together cream that until that is smooth so it would be three bowls that you need one for your sorrel mix one for your dry ingredients and one for this um, this next part Now I'll be combining the dry ingredients using a whisk uh, because that will help to incorporate more air. Anyway, I realized that I'm using white background stuff so you're not seeing anything. So this is just flour, baking powder and baking soda. I'm just combining that with a whisk. Now I'm going to move on to putting everything together but first I'm adding some rum cream to my egg and sugar mixture because that's a part of it as well and then after that we'll be combining all three parts to make one cake which is the sorrel mix, the egg and sugar mix and the dry ingredients. So you'll notice when I'm combining everything you want to add them in parts you don't want to just dump everything in all at once add it in parts so that you can get it blended out smooth and nice and it will make it much easier for you as well and while you're blending you just use something to scrape down the sides to get everything in because you don't want to have any lumps in your cake. So this is how it's looking after I've blended everything together so I'm just going to go ahead now and have that thrown out into my baking tree. We got this size and a small round cake which would be about the size of a one pound cake and yeah that's it for my homemade sorrel cake. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumb up. This is how my cake turned out. Feel free to leave your comment down below. And if you're new, please consider subscribing.